Thank you, Kirby. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to this session. So the goal of this session is to talk about how we can not just use EPBCS. Well, EPBCS has some reporting capabilities. Uh, we've had this interest from a lot of our existing clients as well as prospective clients. This usually comes from folks who've had both Hyperion planning and SBase in their native or on-prem format, and I've always found one or another way to put them together and make the best of them. So ever since we've had them go to the cloud, that is the Oracle cloud, we've had this question come up a lot. So this is, we wanted to take your time today to explain how they can integrate together as well as how you can leverage each other to perform uh, really great reporting based with the capabilities built into Oracle Analytics Cloud. So first, let's take a look at dashboards themselves. So today, you'll probably be using spreadsheets to look at your data. And spreadsheets are used not just to look at raw numbers, but also you could use it to create charts and uh, certain analysis. However, the, the challenge with that is that this is primarily offline and not uh, a centralized solution. But then most of this data is that you look at is two dimensional. So you could you probably be looking at a table or a chart. And though yes, you can pivot things around, as you keep adding more uh, data points, this can get a bit more challenging because you know life is three more than two dimensional. You could say three dimensional or more than that. And once you start looking at things in um, more than one dimensions, talk about dimensions, you, you may be looking at numbers not just by date and time, but also by location and a few other characteristics like customer base or certain attributes like that. And this can be really challenging to look at on a spreadsheet, which is primarily two dimensional. And the other thing is that if you're looking at raw numbers, yes, a lot of us love our numbers and quite a few of us could compete to be natural code breakers even. But for most people like myself, just looking at numbers, it's hard to determine patterns in your data or looking at outliers. Yes, you could have some highlighting that shows you numbers that are significantly bigger than the others, but when a certain single cell is highlighted, it is difficult to find out how different it is from all the other cells in a spreadsheet. So putting this in a graph for pictorial, pictorial form often helps identify these patterns. So this this works great uh, for pictures. Sorry, it works great for looking at details. And as it says, a picture speaks a thousand words, but it definitely can replace a lot more numbers. So instead of looking at a really, really huge sheet with thousands of rows and columns, we could quickly look at a graph which plots trends or patterns at a high level that will show you outliers, and then you can dig into it in more detail. I want to talk about Gartner's definition of what a dashboard is, and this is taken directly from them. What it essentially is a reporting mechanism that puts together not just your KPIs, but other metrics and, dis and your data in an aggregated form. So what this gives you is at a glance, you can quickly look at your key numbers and uh, peaks in your numbers, in your graphs, that could drive, could drive your attention to certain aspects of your data that you need to look at. So what is important in a dashboard that helps drive decision making is it performs quick, sorry, it provides quick insight into your business performance, not just with KPIs, but also in aggregated form of your metrics 